wrapping up book six with Amityville Rex. Now, you might sit there and go, okay, so this is a character that's based off the Amityville horror. No. Nope. Nope. I have specific instructions not to reference that at all. There's a reason. I just like the name Amityville. It is an actual location. <clears throat> Um, it was first referenced in Jaws, of all things. And it is a nod to Jaws. It is a nod to the Amityville Horror, but only the city. Not the events of I, what I, you know, people can believe what they want about the Amityville Horror. For me, I take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but Amityville Rex was looking into something in Amityville. And we'll get into it. Amityville is... Rex is actually... She's an engine. She's a machine. Now, engines do not... They are bipedal. But they... That's... There's, there's no flesh covering or anything like that. Just think of Transformer. They can't transform. Um, that's literally what the, uh, an engine is. Um... Is, she's from the same world as, uh, aspect as Juxtapose Zeta. She's a living machine that operates off raw energy. Uh, she was trained to hunt evil ephemerals, a.k.a. spirits. Yep, kind of odd, but yeah, she's basically a ghostbuster. Um, but a different type. And you're going to meet another type in, I think, yeah, in Book 8, you meet another type. Um, she was hunting a boogeyman on Earth. But after the events of what happened, turning Earth into the broken home, she was forced to continue hunting it after the population was moved on the core aspect because it moved to Usher. Yeah, so her story does take place in Usher. Um, that being said, that's pretty much all I have for book six. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about these characters as much as I've been enjoyed doing this. Um and I hope you're enjoying because as of this I started recording something very special for YouTube on the weekends and I hope you guys are enjoying that I don't want to ruin what that is yet but we'll see see you guys in the near future thank you for listening